space explorers between the lines. In three, two, one, go. Sandstorm period here in qualifications match 57. Robots driving off the first level of their habitat for three points or level two for six points. Sandstorm ends, teleoperated begins. Blue Alliance with a six point advantage. Now drivers with full vision and control. 39.96 on the near side of the field has a piece of cargo in hand for the Red Alliance going to try and deposit it in the cargo ship. One bounce and it goes in. That's three points for the Red Alliance. Blue a following suit now. 70.31, the Duanesburg Robotics team pops one in and heads back to their loader station to recollect. 6484 is the lone red robot back in enemy territory. They're playing some interference on the Grapes of Wrath. Team number 1551 trying to get around that defense of Technologic. Now is their alliance partner 7565 from Brazil. Hatch panel in hand looking at that rocket. Trying to find an opening to score. Red Alliance continues the cargo action with Riki Teak. Now as they put in their third piece of cargo into the cargo ship. One minute left here in qualifications match number 57. 17 points for the Blue Alliance, 12 for Red. A miss from the Riki Teak machine as they head back to recollect. Their alliance partner is 6880, the USB team from Yorktown High School. Looking to collect a piece of cargo next to their own rocket. They do so successfully and head towards the cargo ship. Getting into 30 seconds now until the end of the game. Blue Alliance heading back towards their habitat. 70-31 trying to get up onto level two, 15-51. We've seen them climb to level three before. We'll see if they can do it here. They have 13 seconds left to do so. Red Alliance, similar strategy. Riki Teak trying to get there in time. Three, two, one. It is the Red Alliance who takes the win here. A score of 30 to 29, one point separating these two alliances. Red ends up getting that Hab Climb ranking point. Just barely squeaking by there. Three.